assalam alaikum today we will discuss about common gate configuration we'll apply the ac equivalent model on that device and then we will see that how that device behaves we will find the output and input impedances and the voltage gain for that device as well let's start with trying the circuit this is source drain and gate as we always have isolating or coupling capacitors we have two resistances and a source here this source provide vdd while this resistance is called rs and rd we have v input here and v output here this is common gate configuration We have turn off all DC sources. We have to short circuit all capacitors. Then we have to rearrange the circuit. So, this is our common gate configuration. So, applying first step, the capacitors are short circuits here, while the remaining circuit is intact. Also, the voltage source that we DD has been replaced here. The voltage source has been replaced with a short circuit. Now moving on, and we are going to replace this FET device with the sequent circuit. So there is source, current source, is any value has GM VGS, and there is a resistance in this parallel. As we have to find input impedance, left side here. As we know that the input impedance, as seen from this side, is actually equal to RS and parallel with all of these things. So this section. This whole section becomes an, a delta configuration. A delta configuration to solve delta configuration this is quite difficult. We have to convert this delta configuration to y configuration, which requires a lot of mathematical expressions and it's time consuming. So we are going to apply KVL and we are going to understand how it behaves. So we have node one here, node A and node B. The overall input impedance we are going to find in this section. So what I am going to do is we are going to find this Z input impedance from this side, and that Z input impedance will be parallel with RS. Rearranging circuit, I have rotated the circuit for clear and understanding. This is our Z input dash, and this is our our host circuit. Now, as you can see, that uh, current, a new current which I have named here I dash is. Entering from this node A and exiting from this node B. Overall, the current I dash entering from this node and exiting from this node is same. Some current is divided inside this current. As we can see that our current source is providing a current in this section, and another current is going through this section. This current is called I R D. So applying K V L at this node, V dash is equal to. Minus V R D voltage drop here and the voltage drop here V R D. There are two different voltages here. So arranging V R D gives us V R D minus V R D, and this V R D is replaced with I dash R D. Applying K C L at node A in this circuit, we can write the current equation. The current going inside the circuit is I dash plus G M V G S equal to R D I R D. So rearranging this equation. We can write equation this way. Since I R D is a current flowing through this small resistance, we can write the equation for this resistance equal to V dash voltage appearing at here minus voltage appearing in form of current resistance I R D R D divided by the resistance R D minus G M V G S as is already provided here. So arranging these values, so initially we are going to replace this V G S with minus V. It's actually opposite voltage as appeared to the VGS, and separating this RD with this RD. So arranging these equations, we get the equation this form. Uh, keeping all the values here by cross multiplication, uh, V dash is moved here, and this term is moved here. So we have found I divided by V inverted omega, which has this equation. So inverting it, we get the input impedance. Is equal to one plus R D by R D divided by one R D plus G M. Multiplying and dividing R D will result 
in this form. This whole term is called the dash. And as we know that from last section, the input is actually equal to RS parallel with the input dash. If RD is time term greater than RD, then So we are going to find output impedance and to find output impedance we are going back to our circuit So to find output impedance we can clearly see that that the output resistance is the output is this value and if we substitute V input equal to 0 volts but substituting V input equal to 0 volt we are saying that VRS if V input is equal to RS is equal to infinity ohm then VGS is equal to 0 volt this results in GM VGS equal to 0 so according these values this resistance will effect have zero, this resistance has no effect here, this source equal to zero, this resistance has no effect here, so RD is parallel with capital RD. So this RD is this RD is parallel with this RD. We can write that if RD is 10 times greater than RD, we can say that the output is equal to capital RD. Now to find voltage gain, we can clearly see that the voltage provided here is VI is equal to VGS equal to minus VGS. V input is equal to minus VGS and V output is equal to ID RD. This is a V output, this is a V input we are providing here, so plus and minus VGS. Voltage across this RD is equal to V output minus V input. Replacing this ID with IRD, RD, V output minus V input. So, replacing this value here, we get IRD is equal to V output minus V input divided by RD. Applying KC like B. We can write this equation as this one. Now let's replace this RD, this IRD. GM replacing this VGS with minus V. Overall, the equation will become since V output is equal to I D R D that means the output is equal to so substituting uh, since V output is equal to I D R D so substituting this whole term in V output we get this value so so arranging this we get here so we are going to uh, cross multiply this if rd is 10 times greater than rd we can write to this av is equal to GNRD. Input impedance is equal to is approximately equal to RS parallel with one over GM. Output impedance is approximately equal to RD and voltage gain is approximately equal to GM RD.
so we can clearly see that voltage gain is dependent upon gm and rd output impedance dependent on rd and input impedance dependent on rs if you look at this value you can see that this is a positive gain and a positive gain means the input voltage and the output voltage will always be in phase